Hey guys and welcome back for another short mobility flow. You won't need anything at all for today's session, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one and whenever you're ready, come and join me in a seated position in the centre of your mat. So if you come to the centre of your mat and find a seated position, get comfortable, you can sit cross-legged, uncross, however, and we'll just begin by rolling our shoulders back and down, maybe five times backwards, and then five times forwards. And then when you've done five in both directions, inhale to lift your right arm up, reaching up tall, exhale, reach over to the left. Inhale, back to centre, switch over the arms, exhale, reach over to the right. Inhale, back to centre, and we're going to do this five times on each side, just moving with your own breath, always lifting and lengthening as we inhale, and as we exhale, reaching, folding, finding that space between each of your ribs as you reach over. We're gonna go for one more each side. And then this time you're gonna come back to center. You're going to inhale, center, exhale, to twist to look over your shoulder. Inhale, back to center, exhale, look over the other shoulder. And again, same as before, inhaling to find length through the spine, lifting through the crown of your head, exhaling to twist and push yourself around deeper into that fold each time. One more each side. And then we're slowly going to come onto our hands and knees. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just going to take five uh, cat cows. So you're going to inhale to dip the stomach, look up towards the ceiling, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale as you round through the spine, pressing the ground away, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more each way. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. From here you're just going to take your hands slightly further forwards, tuck your toes and press up into down facing dog. That upside down V shape. Think about spreading through the hands. Lengthening through the spine, pushing the crown of the head towards the floor, opening up the shoulders so your neck's free from your shoulders and your ears are free from your shoulders. And then begin to just pedal out the feet, alternating from side to side, opening up the calves, the hamstrings, the ankles, the feet, the hips. And then from here, you're going to take your right foot outside of your right hand, drop the back knee, inhale to lift and twist, exhale, elbow to the floor. We're just going to do that five times. On this side, four, five, replace the hand, step back to down facing dog, and repeat on the other side. So left foot comes through, back knee comes to the floor, inhale to lift and twist, exhale, elbow to the floor. Try and keep those toes glued to the floor as you do this on that front foot. If you can't touch the floor with your elbow, don't worry. Just give it time. Keep practicing, last one. Replace the hands, step back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet and we're just going to inhale as we roll forwards and drop the hips towards the floor. Look up towards the ceiling and just spend a moment there opening up the hips and the front body. And then exhale, sit back to extended child's pose. Inhale, come back up onto your hands and knees, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. And we're just going to do another round of what we've just done. So right foot outside of right hand, drop the back knee. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, elbow to the floor. Five times on the right. Four, five. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Left foot comes through, drop the back knee. Inhale to lift and twist five times on the left. Three, 
or five, reaching up tall, exhale, place the hand back down, pedal out the feet in your down facing dog just one last time and then slowly walk the feet all the way towards the hands and come into your Uttanasana Ragdoll. So think about taking a slight bend in the knees, drawing your chest over your thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, and you can take opposite hand to opposite elbow and just gently swing from side to side, rock back and forth, wherever you need to be. Just take a few more deep breaths, getting into those glutes, those hamstrings, the backs of your legs, the lower back, and then slowly inhale to come all the way up, extended to Dasana, exhale, release. So come back to the front of your mat, set yourself up. Now that you're upright, lift your toes, spread them, press your feet firmly into the ground. Think about tucking the tailbone under, sucking the navel back towards the spine, rolling the shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath as you lengthen through the crown of the head. And as we inhale, we're going to lift all the way up. Extended to Dasana, exhale as we hinge up the hips, keeping that length, coming down into your Uttanasana forward fold. You're going to take an, um, a twist now, so taking your um, left hand into the centre of your feet. If you need to take a bend in your knees, feel free. You're going to inhale to lift and open with your right hand towards the ceiling, pressing the ground away, exhale, release, and then switch sides. So right hand goes to the floor, inhale to lift and twist to the left. Exhale, release, and come back to centre. From here, you're going to take your hands to the floor. Just take one foot slightly behind the... Um, so I'm taking my left foot behind my right, and you're going to straighten that right and pull back into your hips as you fold deeper over that front leg. You should feel a kind of stretch down the back of your leg, but also when you've got your feet in front of each, one behind the other, you're feeling a stretch maybe in your IT band as well. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale to come forwards and switch over the feet. So left foot's going in front of right now, stacking the feet one in front of the other, finding that strength, uh, straight leg position and then pulling back on the hips as I fold to get into the IT band and the back of the leg on that front left leg. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, Exhale, and then inhale to come forwards. Find your um, feet underneath your hips again. Inhale to come all the way up, extend to Dasana, shake out the legs. Exhale, come back down into that Uttanasana forward fold. From here, we're gonna take a step back with the right foot all the way to the back of the mat and find a low lunge position. So we're gonna take our hands off the floor, so find your steady stance. If you need to go wider, please do. Inhale to lift, reaching up tall, feeling that stretch in the front um, right hip flexor just there. Take a nice deep breath in if you want to. Take your eyes up to the uh, fingers and even take your fingers back. Inhale to come all the way back up. Exhale, plant the hands on the floor and then we're going to swivel round into our ninja pose. So squatting over that left leg, right leg should be long and you should be pushing the outer edge of your right foot towards the floor. If this is enough, stay here. If you want to go further, see if you can reach your right toes with your two big fingers, reaching your nose towards your toes whilst keeping that foot flat to the floor. Hold for three, two, one, and then we're gonna swivel over and do the same on the other side. So left foot goes flat, pressing the outer edge of the floor, the foot into the floor, and then again, reaching with your fingertips to your Toes, nose to toes, hold for three, two, one, and then we're gonna come back to the front, swivel back round into that low lunge position, and we're gonna take three arm circles. So find your steady stance again. Inhale to lift, exhale as you reach the arms back. Inhale to lift, and reach forwards and back with this, guys. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to circle those arms. You're then gonna come back up, into that ninja pose, so twizzle back around again. Take another moment just to see if you can reach a little bit further this time. And then we're gonna creepy crawl all the way over onto the other side and come into low lunge on the other side. So coming back into that low lunge, remember take your steady stance if you need to. Roll the shoulders back and down, eye goes forwards, inhale to lift and reach, press 
into the ground and lift up tall. Open up that left hip flexor this time. Eye gaze up to your fingertips and if you want to take back then, feel free. Inhale to come back up, exhale, replace the hands and coming back into that ninja squat on the other side. So set yourself up over your um, right leg, left foot should be flat against the floor, reach fingers for your toes, take a nice deep breath in, hold for three, two, one, then we're going to move back over to the other side, reach again and then come back over into ninja on this side, swivel round, find your low lunge position once more and we're back to those arm circles, so set yourself up, inhale to lift, exhale to circle the arms, inhale to lift and reach, exhale, press the ground away as you circle the arms back down, inhale one last time, lift and reach, exhale, release the hands to the floor, swivel back round into that ninja pose, reach for the toes one last time, hold for three, two, one, then we're going to come up into star pose, exhale as you come down into your wide leg forward fold, take a moment there to just open out the backs of the legs, take a couple of deep breaths and then walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat and step back to your down facing dog position and just pedal out the legs. From here we're going to come down onto our hands and knees and do some lateral um, cat cows. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips and you're just going to do the same up and down positions as you do with cat cow but you're going to go sideways. So you're going to dip the stomach and then rotate round to the right, finding that arch and that um, hollow hold, hollow position each way. So we're doing about five each side and then back round to the left, mobilising the spine, last one and then come back to centre. From here, option to do this on your hands and knees or option to come up into plank, we're going to do a couple of scat presses, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips or send the knees further back and you're just thinking about keeping the arms straight whilst dropping the shoulders, the chest through towards the floor and squeezing the shoulder blades together and then pressing the ground away. Try and keep your lower back completely neutral. We're just doing five of these. Three, four, five. And then come back into extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then slowly scoop the chest along the floor, come up into Cobra. Take a nice deep breath in as you open up the hips, open up that front body. If Cobra is too much, you can always come down to Sphinx, wherever you need to be. As you exhale, look over your left shoulder, see if you can see your right foot, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, see if you can twist deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way back to centre, exhale to look over the other shoulder, see if you can see your left foot, take a nice deep breath in, exhale and then inhale back to centre, exhale release the body to the floor, face to the floor, take your hands out wide either side of your shoulders, fingertips to the floor, we're going to do some cobra peels, so think about rolling those shoulders back and down, squeezing those shoulder blades together and then lifting your body vertebrae by vertebrae off the floor into that cobra position. If you need to, you can use your whole hand. Fingertips make it a little bit harder to use your hands to press yourself up. We're just going to do three of these. Remember to engage your glutes, your inner thighs, and your lower back muscles, and reset every time you come to that position. Exhale, come all the way down to the floor. We're going to take the hands fully out wide now in a T-shaped position for some scorpion twists. So hands to the floor, shoulders to the floor, chin or head to the floor, wherever you're comfortable with your head. You're going to inhale to lift the left leg up and reach the foot over towards the right hand. If you want to stay here, see if you can keep your shoulders glued to the floor as you do this or alternatively for a more of a shoulder stretch, use your left hand into the floor to push the ground away and get deeper into that right shoulder. Hold for three deep breaths. Four. 
and then inhale to come all the way back up, exhale to come back to centre and switch over to the other side. So left arm goes long again, right hand comes under the shoulder if you want to, inhale to lift and reach with that right foot all the way over to that left hand. And again, if you're going to keep the shoulders glued to the floor and get more of a hip twist, you can, or you can transfer it more into the shoulders, whatever you need today as you press into the ground and just take three deep breaths wherever you are at. Last deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale to come all the way back up to centre, exhale, release yourself um, back down to the floor. From here we're just going to reach back, grab a hold of our right foot and bring the heel in towards the bum, maybe just take a few quad pumps, and then hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release, and then switch sides. So take the left hand to the left foot, pump the leg a few times, just to ease into the front of that quad, and then hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release. Come back up onto your hands and knees, press back into extended child's pose, and think about reaching as far forwards as you can, Breathing into the upper back, expanding through the shoulders as you inhale. And then on the next exhale, walk the hands all the way over to the left. Find that stretch in the right side body. Take two deep breaths. And then walk your hands all the way over to the centre as you inhale and then over to the right as you exhale, find that stretch in the left side body, take two deep breaths. When you've taken those two deep breaths each side, walk your hands all the way back to centre and come up onto your hands and knees, swivel yourself around and we're going to come into a seated forward fold. So take the feet straight out in front of you, flex the toes, pull the fleshy bit of your bum out from underneath you. Inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale to fold over those legs. Three deep breaths as you reach your nose towards your toes, exhale. Inhale to find length, exhale to fold. And then inhale as you come all the way up. Slide your bum down towards your heels, come onto your backs, and just bring your right ankle across your left knee, lifting your feet off the floor. You're gonna then reach through that hole that you just created with your legs. Grab a hold of your shin and just bring that knee in towards your chest for a reclined pigeon stretch. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. Two more deep breaths, just like that. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And then release that leg and switch sides. So right leg goes out, left ankle comes across right knee. Reach through that hole, clasp in front of the shin on that right knee and then bring that knee in towards your chest. Hug it with both arms and just take three deep breaths. You can use that left elbow to push open that left leg towards the side, getting into the hip. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then slowly release the legs, bring the knees in towards your chest, tuck them with both arms, maybe lift your head to your nose to knees just for a quick spinal stretch and then take your toes to the floor, keep your heels lifted, hands out to the side, T-shaped position and just drop your knees from side to side for a few window wipers to finish. We'll aim for about five or six rotations on each side. One more each side, and 
and then bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them with both knees, massage that lower back, and whenever you're ready, come and roll over onto your right side of your body and join me in a seated position. As we finish our practice, we'll take one final deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, palms together. As we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.